All right guys, this is Will from Monkey Steals Peach here. And for today's video, I want to continue on the theme of entry techniques and discuss the technique Tai Shan Ya Ding, which means Mount Tai presses down on the peak. So it's basically just a hammer fist coming from up to down. And this is one of the eight hard techniques in Mantis. So hard techniques mean techniques that are fully committed, as in I'm not going to change, I'm not going to consider what the opponent does, I'm committed to doing this and it doesn't matter how the opponent responds. So whether they block or anything, I'm just going to go straight through it with my forearm. Now, Mount, Mount Tai is one of the five sacred mountains in China, and the implication here, or the kind of meaning behind it, is just a very great and ominous mountain. So the idea is that I'm completely overbearing on my opponent. And the second part of the name, Ya Ding, means to, to press down on the peak. So this isn't like a flick, this is a, a heavy press. So if I bring my partner Sean in, and I'll, I'll show you, I'll explain the application of the technique. So one thing I want to say here is that this technique is technically better for a larger person versus a smaller person. Now, Sean's larger than me, so you're gonna have to use your imagination a little bit, but you can still get the gist of it. Now, you might think that hitting the top of the head is not a good idea because it's very hard, but don't forget, we're not using the knuckles, we're using the hammer fist, so we're using the soft part. Now, pressing down, this very heavy press down, will compress the opponent's neck and it will give them a very serious case of concussion. There's a lot of pressure coming down here. So basically, this is a very vicious attack. And I'm not caring too much, as I said, what the opponent's doing. So it doesn't matter if Sean just puts his guard up and I just come in, I take his guard with the first hand and I come down onto the top with the second hand. Now, it doesn't matter if Sean's attacking me and at the same time I intercept and I just smash into his arm and then smash into his head. Or it doesn't matter if, if I throw something out and he blocks it. I just press straight through. So what's important here as well is we have very conditioned arms. We need to have good strong forearms so that my block is also my block or my interception is also like an attack. So you put your guard up again. So if I if I just smash down into his arm, clash bone to bone, if he's not also got hard forearms, he's going to get some damage from that too. Even if he is conditioned, it's still going to be enough. It's still going to be enough to just jerk his arm out the way or to even just give some pressure that I can then take, you know, take hold of it and then come down with the second strike. Okay, so that was the technique Tai Shan Ya Ding. Now, I suppose it's a little bit dif difficult to show it too convincingly because it's something that requires full commitment. And when I'm trying not to actually hurt my partner, it's very difficult to really go through. So again, you have to kind of use your imagination a little bit here. Um, as I say, I've got to hold back because, you know, it's very committed, it's very dangerous. And if I do hit Sean on the top of the head, he is going to get a very bad concussion. Even if we're wearing helmets, I can say this from experience as well, even when you're wearing a helmet, these downward strikes from the top still give you very, very bad concussion. So it is something you have to be very careful training. So yeah, that was Tai Shan Ya Ding, the first of the eight hard techniques and um, a very common entry technique that we use in Taiji Mantis. So hope you enjoyed that video. Um, the Southern Shaolin documentary is already up. If you haven't watched that, I suggest you, you check it out after this video. Part two is already up for Patreon. So you can go just for $1, you can go on and watch that. And on Patreon for the $10 tier, I also have a video that goes really into detail with Fan Chu talking about the history and the application of the, the technique. And Fan Chu basically is when you combine multiple Tai Shan Ya Dings together. So it's basically this kind of wheeling or windmilling type technique. And it's a very, very old uh, and rudimentary method of Mantis. So if you're interested in that, join Patreon, you can check that out. And as always, thank you for watching. Thanks for your support and see you in the next video.